everybody, and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Vintage Mego. For this week's installment, we're going to do something a little off the beaten path in that these aren't actually figures produced by Mego. In fact, when they were made, Mego had been out of business for almost two years. But they're an interesting footnote in Mego history and something that I think needs to be discussed more. I am talking, of course, about the Superheroes line by Gulliver Toys of Columbia. These were produced, I believe, in the mid-1980s as a reaction to the Kenner Superpowers line that was very popular at the time. Gulliver apparently didn't want to go whole hog on investing on the licensing for that, so what they did was they created their own line of superheroes, and they seemed to be utilizing Mego parts. Uh, as you can see here, we have Superman, Batman, and Aquaman, and they are all based off the Mego Pocket Superheroes line. Gulliver seems to have taken Mego's basic figure form and made it their own. They've changed the plastic on the figure itself. Uh, they've put a big screw in the back that seems to change the construction. The Mego Pocket Superheroes obviously didn't have a big metal screw in their back. Also, they added fabric capes as opposed to the PVC ones that we got with the Mego Pocket Superheroes. The assortment itself is completely unique to Columbia. It includes Superman, Batman, Aquaman, as pictured, a character called Captain Ray that I'll discuss a little later, the Hulk, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and the Abominable Snowman, which is actually just a repainted Incredible Hulk. Uh, most of these were based on the pocket superhero counterpart they had. Aquaman is the strange one that he is actually not based on the Mego pocket superhero, but he appears to be a repainted version of a Superman, basically. They've painted scales on him, and they've actually added his fins on the back, but you can see the boots on him as well. I do not own a Captain Ray, but it apparently is also just a repainted Superman. What What's really interesting about this line is it was very short-lived as... Not long after, Gulliver appeared to be producing their own version of the Kenner Superpowers. But also, Captain Ray made an appearance in that as well. Many years after the Superpowers was over for Gulliver, they created a line using the same tooling of the Superpowers called Defenders of the Earth that Captain Ray would return along with a bunch of characters that looked oddly familiar. They were basically repaints of the Kenner Superpowers figures. Like a lot of foreign-produced toys, this line is actually quite difficult to find, especially these superheroes. There is very little photographic evidence of these guys on the card. Some people say there's a Robin in this series of you know redone pocket heroes, but I've never seen it. To be perfectly honest with you, I have been collecting these since I first discovered a Superman on eBay about 17 years ago. Uh, I then followed up and found a Batman through a friend, and I did a trade and made a good friend out of the deal. And to be honest with you, that's really been it until about two months ago when I found this Aquaman on eBay, and I got very excited. Uh, I haven't been actively searching for these characters, but it has been a very long time since I've seen one. I would love to piece together a set, but at this point, I don't know how long that's going to take. This is just another one of those weird footnotes in Migos history. You know, this is their legacy after they went out of business. There was still somebody copying their work in another country, you know, two years later. And, of course, I love cataloging and finding these incidents of Mego tooling being found used long after the fact. And that, that is exciting to me. Also, I'm a huge Pocket Heroes fan. There's just so many happy memories related to that line for me that I'm excited to find these foreign versions. What foreign versions of American toys are your white whale? Let me know in the comments here below. You can hit me up at Twitter, at Mego Museum. We have a growing Facebook group called Mego Mania, where this is all we discuss is Mego. And of course, the tried and true forums at MegoMuseum.com. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. We do this every week. Otherwise, have fun. Take care.